So what would you think of the hire with uh, Lincoln Riley? Yeah, it's it's a good day to be a Trojan, Dan. I think that one kind of came out of left field. Nobody was expecting it. Nobody was really talking about it. His his name wasn't thrown around the rumorville, and and now he's he's headed to L.A. to be the next coach at USC. And I think it's a fantastic win for the Trojans. Okay, I know that we you know we got you in a little bit of trouble when you brought up Mike Tomlin's name on the wish list. But was Lincoln Riley's name on that wish list? Like, with, and if so, how far back? Oh, he, he was, he would have been at the top of the list. I just don't think anybody really knew his current contract situation. He only has or had one year left on his deal in Oklahoma. You know, it seemed like a great fit, you know, for, for him to stay at Oklahoma for the long haul. Uh, he'd had a ton of success and, and come in and I think in four or five years, been to the, been to the playoffs three of the four years, three of the five years. So, um, you know, it just it just wasn't on his name was not on people people's radar. And uh, I think a majority of USC fans across the country, if they would have known Lincoln was in the running, he would have been at the top of everybody's list. OK, is there somebody that you thought was going to get it? Well, I think the obvious tie was the Luke Fickle tie with University of Cincinnati and, and Mike Bone, the current USC athletic director, having hired coach fickle to Cincinnati when, when Mike was at Cincinnati, it just was a natural fit. Um, but this one, I mean, at this timing, you just didn't feel this timing. Um, you didn't think there was going to be announcement coming over Thanksgiving weekend, but, uh, like I said, I mean, just a huge win for all Trojans. But if you're a high school quarterback and let's say you're four or five star recruit, um, it feels like those quarterbacks have been leaving Southern California is, is Lincoln Riley enough for these you know, high school seniors to say, I'm going to stay here in, in Southern California. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, he's just look at the last two quarterbacks he had in, in Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield. Both of them went number one in the draft. Both of them won Heisman trophies. You know, they didn't have a ton of time to work under Lincoln and, and under his tutelage to really develop, but he developed them extremely quickly, which if you look at high school recruits right now, what's important is quick success. Nobody wants to go to go to university and wait two or three years and be the starter and, you know, wait for his turn. Guy, guys want to go into college and play now and they want to have success early. So if, if you're a young, uh, a young high school kid with those kind of aspirations and you just look at the track record of what Lincoln Riley's done in a short amount of time with Kyler Murray and a short amount of time with with Baker Mayfield. I mean, that that's proven success very, very quick, very fast. So I think that's um, you know, a great recruiting tool that Lincoln can go into these high school kids' living rooms and sit in front of their mom and dad and say, hey, look, the proof's in the pudding. I only had a year with Kyler. I had a very short amount of time with Baker, and I've, I've found a way to get the best and to put the best uh, talent out on the field around these players, and I think that's been a big factor in their success also. I think it's a great hire for USC. I think it's a smart move logistically for, for Lincoln Riley because you can sort of – have that Big 12 feel, but now you're in the Pac-12 because Oklahoma's going to the SEC. You can still stand alone a little bit like you did with Oklahoma in the Big 12, and you can do that in the Pac-12. What do you think? Oh, oh absolutely. It's much more difficult to get to the bowl championship, uh, to get to the playoffs in the SEC. You got to worry about Georgia. You got to worry about Florida. You got Alabama and LSU and so on. In the Pac-12, you've really got Oregon if you're USC. And I know they just got beat a couple of weeks ago by UCLA, but for the most part, you know, you've got a much easier route to get to the playoffs going at Gumman from the Pac-12. I mean, Oregon's consistently pretty, pretty good. I mean, you know, over the years, the last 10, 15 years, Oregon's really the only challenger that SC's had with an outlier every once in a while with Stanford that's had a, a couple good years. Um, you know, Washington State, you know, has a couple good years every once in a while, but for the most part, it's a USC Oregon conference. You go look at the the SEC. Everybody's a contender outside of a, a couple of schools. Yeah, I get it. And uh, you know, he did a lot of recruiting in uh, Southern California too. And then you're going to get these kids who are going to decommit from Oklahoma and probably follow him to USC. You've already got a couple. I mean, you're already starting to hear rumblings. There's a couple of great players that at Modern Day, which is one of the, the powerhouses in Southern California and really one of the powerhouse high schools in the country. And they've got two five-star recruits, the running back and the quarterback. Both were committed to Oklahoma 
I wouldn't be surprised to see those guys change their minds and, and stay home. I mean, that, that it's, it's tough to leave Southern California when you're a high school football player. And it's really tough to leave Southern California and go to Norman, Oklahoma. And, and then you factor in, you know, the family and friends that are close that can now come and see you and get in a car and drive and watch you play at SC compared to getting on a flight or three flights getting to Norman. Um, you know, he, he's going to start getting that kind of Pete Carroll respect from the recruiting class is where, where everybody out of California SC's in their top five when Pete Carroll was there. And I think you're going to see that same thing with, with Lincoln Riley. You have not seen that in the, in the Clay Helton area. There's tons of kids that don't even take a trip to SC and they go to the SEC. They go to the big 12. They've head headed outside of California. They've gone to Oregon. Now I think you're going to see that Pete Carroll following of, of these high school kids in California staying in state and giving SC a really hard look. 